Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to That Time Gabriel Iglesias Got With Snoop Dogg. Netflix is a joke. Let's see what they have to say. I'm in the middle of trying to deal with this whole situation with my son watching these videos and not going to work. And while I'm doing this, I get the most random phone call I've ever gotten. My publicist calls me up and she's like, Gabe, Snoop Dogg is looking for you. What? Excuse me? Snoop Dogg, you know, the, I know who Snoop Dogg is, but what do you mean he's looking for me? Well, he's looking, for, is he looking for me or is he looking for me? Right. <laughs> he's a fan and he wants to interview you. Oh, cool, sounds good, what is it? I think it's some type of podcast. I'm in, can I bring Frankie? Absolutely, cool. So I hang up the phone. I'm excited, I wanna tell my son, I'm like, Frankie, I'm walking towards your room. <laughs> I'll be at your door in three, oh two, my gosh. one. Hey, all right, you're dressed. Good. Come on, let's go. I'm not looking forward to that part of parenthood. My kid is only eight, and so I just walk in, and she's playing with dolls. Like, that's it. But the whole, like, I'm here, can I open the door thing? Oh, gosh. Um, I also love that his son's name is Frankie. For whatever reason, I, I love that name, but, like, he strikes me as the type of dad to have a son named Frankie. Like, Anyone named Frankly, Frankie is like a fun kid, a cool kid. And he strikes me as the type to have a kid named Frankie. Three, two, one. Hey, all right, you're dressed. Good, come on, let's go. Where are we going? Watch, we get in the car. And now we're off on this adventure to go do an interview with Snoop Dogg. You guys, let me tell you something. We get to the neighborhood and we're lost. Oh, was it at a the house? GPS says we're there, but we're lost. We're looking for a house. And there's no house, just a big building. And so I'm like, this, this doesn't look real podcast, really? So I pull up to the security gate. <laughs> Tap the button on the wall. <laughs> security desk, can I help you? Hey, security desk, my name is Gabriel Iglesias, and uh, uh, I think I'm here to do an interview with Snoop Dogg. Okay, one moment. Oh, okay, this is it, good, good. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, this is gonna be cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sir? Yes, sir. Yes, hi, there is no Gilbert Ignatius on file. <laughs> Gilbert Ignatius. Could it be another name? Another name, I don't know, a Fluffy maybe? And the gate starts to open. Shut up. I'm like, oh my God, I'm officially in the rapper's world because my real name doesn't mean shit. Wait, is his real name not Gabriel Ig Iglesias? I'm confused by that. I thought he was going to say, well, that's not my, I, that's not what my, I said my name was. What? Wait, what? Also, does Snoop Dogg live in a building? Because he said he was looking for a house. I don't know. So we drive in. And we're passing all of these reserve parking spaces. Reserve, 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 reserve. And we get to my space, which is basically an orange cone that has fluffy handwritten on it. Stop. And a bunch of other names crossed off. <laughs> <laughs> so Frankie moves the cone, I park the car. <laughs> we walk into the building. My publicist is waiting for me, right? And she's like, Gabe, you made it. Frankie, how are you? Listen, I just finished talking to Snoop. <sighs> wow. <laughs> he is everything you think he is and just a little bit more. He is so sweet. I cannot believe he was charged with double murder. <laughs> he told me to just walk you guys into the studio and he'll be right back. He said he had to go outside and get in the right headspace or something. I just... <laughs> okay, cool. So she walks us into Snoop's studio. I'm thinking I'm there for a podcast. Come to find out it's for a TV show. Snoop has a TV show where he interviews celebrities. What? Everyone in the room. I did not know this was a thing. Let me know in the comments what Snoop's TV show. I Do I know that Snoop has a TV show? I'm like, hold on. Let me, before I say that, let me rack my brain. And I definitely strike him as a podcaster. Like he's, he probably definitely has a podcast. No, I didn't know he had a TV show. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Room is waiting for Snoop to return. You can hear the small talk, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, 
All of a sudden, everyone stands up. No. And I'm looking around like, what's going on? And I look at the door to see if Snoop's walking in and I don't see him. And I could see my son. I don't realize it, but Snoop is entering the room through a different door. I don't realize it till like the last second. I'm like, what are you? Oh! So I jump up, I push in my chair. I'm so nervous, I don't know how to address him. So I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I felt <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Snoop walks over to me and he's so cool, you guys. He's so cool, he walks over to me and he grabs my hand. He's really strong, he pulls me in and he says, Yo, what it do, baby boo? How you feel? He's really strong. That caught me off guard. He's really strong. Snoop, he's so tiny. He's like tall and tiny. Thank you for having me. What yeah. it do, baby boo? <laughs> Can I sit down? For sure. <laughs> I sit down. I look over. I see my son. My son's like... <laughs> the difference between Snoop's show versus any other talk show I've ever done is that usually there's a person, like a producer or a director, who comes to you and gives you information, like how the show begins, topics you're gonna cover, how you go to commercial, how you come back from commercial. I've spoken to no one. Snoop just starts talking, and at some point, they hit record. I'm waiting for Action or a buzzer, eh, something. Eh. Snoop just starts talking to me. Yo, what up, Big Fluff? <laughs> Big Fluff, oh, that's, hey. <laughs> Yo, you like music? Snoop, I love music. I love your music. Yeah, that's what's up. He opens up a laptop computer and then he hits play. And the next thing I know, we are listening. Okay, yeah, I want to watch this interview. So please, like, I'm like so into this story. I'm really invested if y'all can't tell. I'm like, what's going on? So please tell me where I link it, something, share it with me. I want to see this interview, please. And then he hits play. And the next thing I know, we are listening to hardcore Mexican banda music. Stop. I mean hardcore. <laughs> and you can hear gunshots in the song. <laughs> and then a cow. Oh and the whole God. time Snoop is like, I love it when he go moo. <laughs> I feel like he's messing with me because I'm Mexican, right? So I called him out. I said, Snoop, do you understand what you're listening to? And he said this, and it scared me. He said, gangster recognized gangster. <laughs> the reason why it scared me was because he was telling the truth. We were listening to actual Mexican cartel songs that don't play on the radio. And the fact that he knew that, the fact that his level oh, of- Oh no, it's time to go. I'd be like, well, this was fun. Thanks for the invite. Frankie's got school in the morning, gotta go. What? Why are we listening to unreleased Mexican cartel music? Why? <laughs> play on the radio. And the fact that he knew that, the fact that his level of street knowledge in another language was that on point, I said, I gotta shut the hell up. <laughs> Don't speak unless spoken to, that's the, that's the code. <laughs> Next thing I know, Snoop reaches under the desk and he pulls out the biggest blunt I have ever seen. Oh, this sucker was huge. As soon as he pulled out that freaking blunt, I got excited because I wanted to grab my cell phone, okay? I wanted to grab my cell phone so that I could take a selfie of Snoop in the background being Snoop. Being so while Snoop. I'm fumbling, trying to get my phone, <laughs> Snoop starts talking to me again. Yo, Big Fluff. <laughs> yeah, what? Hit that while I hit this. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny because I just reacted to a um, music video with Eminem and Snoop Dogg. For the, I've never seen it. 
he had he and it was like half animated half not and i kid you not there was an animated uh spiffy in his hand that was that size so this i know to be a very factual part of this story <laughs> <laughs> The second I went like that, all of the cameras in the room, red light, red light, red light, red light, red light. My publicist is like, no! My son is like, yeah! <laughs> and now I'm being faced, bro, I'm being faced with a serious situation because, you know, I've talked about friends participating in doing stuff like this, but I've never openly talked about myself you know. And now I realize that from this moment forward, people are going to know what happened here with Snoop. So I started trying to find ways to justify oh, it to myself. Oh, I want to see this interview so bad. You know. <laughs> if you're going to do something like this on camera, you want it to be with Snoop. <laughs> you want it to be with the Snoop. Back. Cheech and Chong. <laughs> or Willie Nelson. <laughs> this is big facts. Like, you're kind of goaded forever. If if you have an encounter with Snoop Dogg and he even, like, offers that, goaded. You're goaded. You are the greatest of all time at whatever it is that you do because that is him, like, blessing you. <laughs> and knighting you in that way. You know what I mean? Initiating you. Or Willie Nelson. Next thing I know, the manager hands me a lighter. I light it and I take a big hit. <laughs> I love y'all know I love so these listen, sound effects. I'm doing my best to hold in all this smoke because I don't want to look like a punk in front of Snoop Dogg. Oh, I'm God. trying. I'm fighting, bro. It's hard, you know. <clears throat> <laughs> the whole time Snoop is like, hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. Fluffy going puffy today. Where is Frankie in all of this? Where is Frankie? I, I do recording. not remember the rest of the interview. <laughs> what I remember is my buddy Anthony telling Snoop Dogg and I to stand up for a picture. Stand up, get up for, for a picture. And so Snoop and I both stand up to oh take God, this picture. Oh God, please let him show us the picture. Please I put my him arm around him. Um, I have to put my arm around him because he's much taller than me, okay? Snoop has me by at least Five inches. <laughs> Shut up, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would be more. Snoop Dogg is like 6'5". Well, I don't know how tall Gabriel is, but Snoop Dogg is very tall. Very tall. <laughs> <laughs> She's cracking up. Please show us the picture. Oh, I want to see the picture. I was hoping for a picture. All right. Y'all need to put in the comments this interview where I can find it because I want to watch it. Please and thank you. In the meantime, go have the day you deserve. Peace.